not since I was huge into the Sopranos where have I been as impressed with a uh, a female with a just like an edgy female uh, Lisa Bonet is totally uh, shocked me in, in this episode. Uh, she reminds me a little bit of, of Leslie Ray Vega from uh, The Sopranos. So, just the things that she say, uh, that she'll say to you, how to just just to get you, to shock you, to just to, to take you off of your game. It's it was very surprising to see that it took both Ray uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, Ray and his um, and his partner to 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 take her down uh people will probably joke well that's the you know the puerto rican and or whatever you know but it was it was kind of cool to see that she wasn't one of those this uh damsel in distress types when she's tough and i was happy to see that that was that was really funny um i i was with i was with the the story now it's uh, uh lena sorry uh that race partner Moving on to uh, Terry, you see that he's going through some more issues with um, with his illness and and with uh, uh, Ray's wife Abby and and I guess I don't know he's trying to feel like he's he's worth something. You know, Abby gets her purse stolen, and if you didn't see that coming a mile away, that in the end, you know, he would he would save the day and then um, and offer the, the the thief a uh, a chance to to train in the boxing. Uh, uh, in the boxing gym that that he runs, because I was shocked that he got his ass kicked by this kid. So, I mean, at first I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's because Terry's losing his step, he's getting old, his 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 condition. Then like they they try to contribute it to the fact that the kid is just you know younger and faster. Maybe it's a little bit of column A, maybe it's a little bit of column B. But I thought that was kind of weird that he just got totally taken. But they go you know moving the story along. When you find out that that Hector and his sister Marissa have been going through these issues uh, with their sexual past and everything and you're, and you're like trying to figure out where is this all going to go I mean just going back into her whole shocking uh, way of speaking to people I mean it, it didn't matter who you were I, I mean she she she's an addict and you know she's on that uh, her defense mode is up is cranked to the max so she's going to say whatever it takes just to get under your skin just to, to bring you down to her level and throw you off of a uh, of your game because she'll she'll spring a trap on you and just flee the scene just like she did to Ray let you lower your guard uh, don't underestimate this girl will her uh, will uh, Lisa's character and Ray Donovan uh, get uh, Marissa and Ray Donovan have a sexual relationship I'm gonna I'm 50-50 on this you know it is Ray Donovan I don't I don't think it's necessary but and another thing I was thinking about that was kind of predictable, the boy who stole the purse and uh, was given the, the boxing ticket. I mean, of course, obviously now she's going to he's going to get introduced to Bridget and, you know, they're probably going to have a relationship. Maybe. I mean, I, I hope not because it's just repeating the same story over again. But hopefully it'll go in a different direction. These are things that I'm predicting. And if I'm right about it, eh, I'm going to start getting a little bored. So hopefully they'll, they'll switch it up. I'm curious to see what uh, Connor is going to be up to. He's like he's starting to find his voice and and uh, and really start to get uh, get his character going in this season. So we'll see what happens. John Voight's character still same old uh, Mickey. So we'll see. Now that he's got nine lives and he got out of the uh, out of his uh, his situation thanks to his son. What's he gonna do with it? Well, if you saw the trailer for next uh, next week, you know he's gonna go right back into to the mix of it. So. Who knows? So far, the, the characters that I was mostly impressed with in this uh, episode was um, was uh, Lena and uh, and and uh, Terry and uh, and Marissa. They were they were the most entertaining. Now, whatever's going on with um, with uh, with Butchie and his wife, uh, hey, hey, it that, that does happen. You know, I have three kids and I can contest that sometimes they just need it so I know you have some issues I'm talking to the character Butchie so I know there's some issues there but hey bro you gotta step your game up you know that's a firecracker you're married to so let's uh let's get it going 
So, I mean, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. I mean, it was it's pretty good. And uh, I'm hopefully I'm hopefully uh, I'm hopeful that the next episode will be much, much better. It's kind of a step down from the first episode. So we'll see. Uh, I like the, the character development so far. But as far as the story, I'm kind of worried about the arc it kind of went a little down. A step down from last uh, last episode. Felt like it should be for, it should be going up. I don't know if it's going up or not, but from what we saw in the trailer, it looks like it's about to go down. So let's see where that takes us. Hopefully, it'll be great. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, if you're worried about it, if you have some thoughts, comment. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Always, guys. Thanks for watching, and till next week. See you.